My studio space is constantly evolving, and over the course of time through hundreds of incremental improvements, it looks a lot different than it did a few years ago. But as time passes, even through all the change, a few items have stuck around. One of those objects, strangely enough, being my desktop speakers. Check it out, I found the same ones on eBay. Windows 95 compatible. Oh yeah. <laughs> You'd think I would have upgraded by now since I literally make videos, but <laughs> I don't know, I edit with headphones. The goal for today is to upgrade the speaker setup, but I'm gonna utilize some things I already have laying around. A few months ago, I replaced the speakers in my car with some aftermarket ones, so I still have the factory set. And my theory is that I can make some nice little bookshelf speakers out of these. They all still work, except for the one that doesn't work. Sometimes it's fun to just set out on a project with no real plan and figure things out along the way. I don't know if this is gonna work, and I definitely don't know what my creation's gonna look like at the end of all this. The first step to this project is gonna be wiring up the speakers to see if I can get them to make sound at all. Luckily, basic audio wiring is pretty simple, just a positive and negative. Although I don't have a real plan here, I'm optimistic. Projects like this are a lot of fun. A certain level of uncertainty makes the product that much more satisfying when you complete it. Now, to actually get the speakers to put out sound, I'm gonna need an amplifier. Your regular audio signal doesn't put out enough power to actually drive the speakers, which is why my old set plugs into the wall. The car units don't have a built-in amp, so that's where this comes in. It amplifies those data signals with some components in these vacuum-sealed tubes. I don't really know what they do, but they are sweet. Since I am making $0 speakers out of literal junk, I thought about trying to build my own amp, but I'll save that project for another day. So, now it's time to wire up the speakers and give them their first test. This is sort of the make or break moment for the project. I know it should work in theory, and I'm confident in my ability to make cases for the speakers, but I don't know yet if the simple amp setup will drive them correctly. Not only did it work, but it actually sounded pretty good. This is my favorite moment in projects like this. The moment when I know the uncertain technical aspects are solved, and I just get the green flag to go and have fun with the rest of the project. Now that I'm past the electronics, I'm in my element. Shoddy woodworking. I enjoy making things out of wood, because as long as you're being safe with your tools, the stakes are incredibly low. When you make mistakes, maybe you end up with a crooked corner, messy joinery, but it doesn't require a ton of skill to make something functional. With the speakers beginning to take shape, I started to have some ideas. Like I said, I set out on this project with no real plan, and that's the most fun way to do it sometimes. Just indulging in the creativity of whatever pops into your head. For instance, applying stain over top the existing paint on the scrap wood, just to see what it looks like. I love when the story of an object comes through in its visual presentation. The previously painted scrap wood, the banged up speakers from the beater car, and their markings from their new life as a studio speaker set.
This was a fun little short project, and I'm really happy with how these turned out. They sound better than I expected, and even though they're rudimentary and crazy looking, that's how I like my gear. A little unplanned, a little experimental, and a little bit junk. Thank you for your time.